Texan Global School. Fractions on the number line. In this class, processes to represent proper fractions on the number line are analyzed. Remember that proper fractions are those whose numerator is less than the denominator, and improper fractions are those in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. To locate proper fractions on the number line, we know that the quotient of the fraction will be greater than 0 and less than 1. Therefore, the process involves separating the segment from 0 to 1, according to the denominator. Then the numerator will indicate the position of the fraction on the line segment, separated into sections. Let's see a first example. Represent a fourth on the number line. We can see that it is a proper fraction since the numerator is less than the denominator. Therefore, the quotient will be greater than 0 and less than 1. Remembering previous classes, create a model of the fraction, separating the whole into four parts. We can see that one of the parts represents a fourth. So, to represent this fraction on the number line, we know that it will be between 0 and 1. Since the fraction has 4 as denominator, separate the segment into four equal parts. And, since the numerator is 1, we can see that the fraction is located in the first segment, as shown on the board. Let us perform the division of 1 by 4. We can see that the result is 0.25. If we add 0.25 four times results 1. The same thing happens if we add a fourth four times. Let's look at another example. Represent three fourths on the number line. We can see that it is a proper fraction since the numerator is less than the denominator. Therefore, the quotient will be greater than 0 and less than 1. Create a model of the fraction, separating the whole into four parts. We can see that three of the parts represent three fourths. So, to represent this fraction on the number line, we know that it will be between 0 and 1. Since the fraction has 4 as denominator, separate the segment into 4 equal parts. And, since the numerator is 3, locate the fraction by hopping 3 times to the point where the fraction is found. Let us perform the division of 3 by 4, resulting 0 0.75, which is closer to 1. In this other example, represent 4 fifths on the number line. We can see that it is a proper fraction since the numerator is less than the denominator. Therefore, the quotient will be greater than 0 and less than 1. So, to represent this fraction on the number line, we know that it will be between 0 and 1. Since the fraction has 5 as a denominator, separate the segment into 5 equal parts. And, since the numerator is 4, locate the fraction by hopping 4 times to the point where the fraction is found. Let us perform the division of 4 by 5, resulting 0.8 which is close to 1. In this last example, represent 5 eighths on the number line. We can see that it is a proper fraction since the numerator is less than the denominator. Therefore, the quotient will be greater than 0 and less than 1. So, to represent this fraction on the number line, we know that it will be between 0 and 1. Since the fraction has 8 as a denominator, separate the segment into 8 equal parts. And, since the numerator is 5, locate the fraction by hopping 5 times to the point where the fraction is found. Finally, let's perform the division of 5 by 8, resulting 0 0.625. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World. www.texanglobalschool.com.